Welcome to a tutorial video on Twine. In this video, I'm going to show how to combine the footer tag, the startup tag, and the text rotation macros to create an increasing madness effect as part of an extended example. So we've previously seen how text rotation, text rotate X, text rotate Y, text rotate Z, are all changer macros. They can all be combined with other macros or part of enchantments applied to words, phrases, or hooks within Harlow 3.3. We've also seen how tags can play a very special role with enchantments. We often find ourselves wanting to imply or apply enchantments as part of the end of passages or across multiple passages. Instead of copying and pasting the same code multiple times, we can use special tags with a part of all passages to apply things one time, set up one passage to be a footer or startup or header, and apply to multiple times as needed. So as a quick review of how tags work, the startup tag, when applied to a passage, will be run before the starting passage. It can also be applied to multiple passages, which we'll see potentially in future videos. In this video, I just have a single passage. I have it called variables right here, and it's tagged startup. And remember, when we're editing passage, we click tag. We can add a new tag, or if there's one existing, I'm using footer and startup in this story. And this is tagged with startup right here, and it sets madness to zero. So especially as we start to create much more complex stories, we can fall back into some very useful patterns. One of them is defining any variables we might need story-wide, our story variables, in something tagged startup, allowing us to put all the variables in one place where we know where they are, instead of kind of spread out across multiple different passages. At the same time, I'm doing something a little bit different in this particular example. Styles right here is the styles that will be applied to multiple passages, and it's tagged footer. I also have another passage right here, also tagged footer. Now, an important note about how tags work within passages, within Twine, and especially within Harlow, is they will be run in alphabetical order for as many passages as there are for that tag. So any passages with footer will all be run in alphabetical order which means increase madness with an I will be run before styles with an S. Potentially, if we had multiple passages with the startup tag, this would also apply, or the header tag, that would also apply. Now, this example is a little strange because it relies on knowledge of how enchantments work across Harlow. So over here, I have a named hook right here. Notice the name. We climb deeper into madness. Now, notice it doesn't have anything else. It doesn't have any special symbols. It doesn't have any enchantments. It doesn't have even any macros in this particular passage. But I'm relying on my knowledge of how tags and enchantments work in a combination to other passages. So start right here points back to itself. I'm using next, pointing to start, and we will just keep looping the single passage. However, behind the scenes, things are a little different than I've just explained. The startup tag, any passages with the startup tag, that is, will all be run in alphabetical order. I only have a single passage, and so the variable madness will be set up first. Variables will run first. Next, we will run the start passage right here as the starting passage, and then at the end of it, it will run increase madness, which will increase madness by 10. Then it will check styles over here and say, oh, if madness is greater than 40, enchant, madness right here as a named hook text rotate z 180 degrees so once we pass 40 we do it four times each time by 10 we will then have a text rotation of the corresponding hook over here madness that will change the rotation z of the text so complex stuff going on here let's actually play this to see what it looks like let's build and play so at the start, not too complicated from a user or player's perspective. Next, 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 next. Oh, whoops. Now we've got a lot of madness going on. And now, I have of course, as we move on, we get we climb deeper into madness as completely flipped along the Z axis. We flipped 180 degrees upside down. So notice, though, that the star passage by itself is not doing a whole lot. But our knowledge, again, of how tags work across passages, 
how enchantments work as part of styles, or what I've named styles, and text rotation, which is part of this example, working with this footer over here and this startup over here, all running using tags and particularly using text rotation as an enchantment, running with a named hook. So as we gain in complexity across a number of videos, or if this is your first video, I recommend checking out the other videos on the other concepts to help make sense of all this together. But as we gain in complexity, we can start to apply all these concepts to make our lives simpler. Put all our variables in a passage named variables, especially if they are story-wide variables. And we can tag that with startup. Okay, we've got all of our startup stuff in one place. We know all of our variables will be the values we need them. Next, if we need enchantments across multiple passages, perhaps we might consider the footer tag, although there are other ways to approach it, of course. And then if we want something to happen every passage, we can add other passages with the footer tag. Or potentially, if you want things to happen at the beginning of a passage, use the header tag. But the tags allow us to better organize multiple passages. Now, thinking of those passages as their own kind of sections of a story. Here's everything to do with startup. Here's everything that's a footer. Potentially, here's everything that's a header. And especially as we think about changers and enchantments, footers particularly are, particularly are <laughs> important to us, are particularly, particularly important to us, are useful to us, put a different way. So as we look at this extended example, there's lots of different concepts going on, not too terribly complicated, but combination of, again, using tags, thinking about startup and footer and header, although not used in this example, and combining that with enchantments, thinking particularly of how we want enchantments to be defined separate from code. Again, that's one approach we can use within Harlow. We can define code and then put content, or we can do content and then put code. There's a kind of two, two parallel approaches. Of course, we can mix them as needed. But thinking about that as a way to kind of separate, I want my style stuff over here, I want my code stuff over here, and I want my content generally somewhere else, if we want to do that. And of course, we can mix it all together. There are no rules within this. We can do whatever we want, how we organize our projects within Harlow 3.3. Thanks for watching.